SGC here, and we're back for a movie review. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's just fly through this and not waste each other's time. So yeah, um, this is going to be just, just a really... I'm going to try to be subjective here. I mean, granted, Full Metal Alchemist has been a favorite classic of mine for manga, and when Brotherhood came out, it was a great anime. So, yeah, I'm going to be biased. But before that, directed by Fumihiko Sori, the guy that did Vexel and Ping Pong back in the long, long day. And, um, yeah, this was actually released back in December of last year, and it's based on the manga series of the same name. And, uh... Who's in this? Um, no one of note that I really bother want to bring up, but probably Ruta Saito playing Maze Hughes. He was great in it. And uh, for those less inclined, what is this series about? Well, it's about two boys who uh, live in the world of alchemy, where they try to do human transmutation to save their mom. And instead, one kid loses his body, one kid loses an arm and leg. And then now they're on a journey to regain those things by hunting a stone called the Philosopher's Stone. And that's basically the entire film. So what did I think? Um, let's just get, get with, like, the cool stuff. I mean, Ruto Saito playing Maze Hughes, like, visually he's got it. Character-wise he's got it. Acting is there. And, um... Yeah, so he was like a highlight. Every scene he was in, it was pretty decent. He sort of saved every scene that he was in. Costumes, they got costumes down. I mean, beside the wigs, the actual costuming looks fine. Granted, you have probably seen better cosplays out there because that's usually the case. I guess the visual look for lust, gluttony, and envy is there. That That's about it. So, I don't even know where to begin. Like, first of all, this movie is too long. Two hours and 14 minutes, including credits opening and closing that was way too long cut down a lot um yeah I'm, I'm trying to subjectively like talk about this i mean let's not talk about like the story itself the story i try to look through the manga to see where it actually stops but i feel like it jumps around a lot it it, it deals with the nina and the hughes issues so that's that there's no Civil War stuff. So story-wise, it's whatever. I mean, it's a story that's been done before. So, which makes me wonder, like, who was this movie made for? Because the anime had two series. We had movies. We had the manga. It's been done. Like, is this for a new generation of manga readers? Or people that are like, hey, live action Full Metal. Heard about it. Never got into it. So let's check it out. Like, is it for those type of people? Because if it was, it's a pretty crappy film on the other sense. Like, we have really bad acting and line delivery. The guy that plays Edward yells every time he's pissed off. It seems like he's just either pissed off yelling or just really non-emotional line delivery. Whoever did the blocking for most of the dialogue scenes really can't block. Because it, it just, just sucks. And the world building here is also horrendous. You're supposed to believe that this world is full of life and everything, and especially watching Black Panther, and I know I'm doing a horrible job comparing the two, because Black Panther is holy crap, and Full Metal is just wow. It just proves like the difference when you can block and when you can make the world feel like a real world within the context of the actual narrative. I mean, we know Wakanda's not real, but I believed it while watching Black Panther. I didn't believe any of this stuff existed while watching Full Metal Alchemist. And that's the sad part. Like, they're, they're looking for a doctor, and then they find one random woman buying groceries, and I'm supposed to feel like this town is supposed to be alive, but I literally think it's the only woman living in this town. And the sets. I mean, granted, there's that weird set vibe where every set just felt like a set but i did flip through some of the manga and i mean aokawa wasn't really great on backgrounds office spaces were pretty basic looking and 
sometimes she doesn't even draw the background and I'm, and I was like okay but I I'm I confess I'm invested in the story while reading the manga or watching the anime but here it just felt like yep that's a set and that just really bothered me every time I don't know how they decided that the screenplay was going to be like this was it's just like it felt like every scene was just a movement scene there was no actual movement though it just seems like okay we have one scene done cut scene scene and let's just put them all together Transitions were horrible, but like the, the, the actual narrative structuring of the story, it's fine, but it's just like the transition between scenes was horrible. And also, because of the lack of world building, there is hardly any character building whatsoever. We're supposed to know these characters, but you don't feel anything for them. Even when the thing happened to Hughes, you're just like, oh, okay, that's sad, but everything else sort of like feels disconnected. I think that's the biggest thing for me is that everything feels disconnected here. And and it's just too bad. Whereas like Colonel and Ed were supposed to have known each other, but the way they talk just feels awkward. There's that one scene where it's raining and Colonel just sort of reprimands Ed and then he turns around and he just stands there and then Ed has a monologue and it's just like, why would the Colonel stand there? He would have just reprimanded and left because that's the character that's been portrayed. So it's just this weird stuff of just feels like we had these scenes that we had to shoot, so we'll shoot them. Disregard how we act in them or how they connect. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there's this, it was a hard watch, but it's sad because it's like, wow, you guys got the look, but the acting just wasn't there whatsoever. A lot of really bad acting. Editing was poor too. A lot of shots just lingered for no apparent reason when the actor or actress is just looking at the camera. There's one shot of Winry where she's just like upset and then she, and then just lingers and it's just like why are you lingering instead of cutting because there's supposed to be an action response to what she just did which is just which is i don't know it's awkward and off-putting and then fight sequence there's literally no fight sequences because whoever choreoed this doesn't know how to choreo because literally when ed got pissed off at tucker he just literally punched him like repeatedly and then when they were fighting amongst themselves, he literally was punching him repeatedly once again. And even the last sort of finale scene where he builds up that rubble wall and he has this like monologue. I don't think Lust and Envy is just going to stand there and do nothing. And yeah, speaking of Envy, he didn't do anything. He transformed, but that's that's basically it. There was no hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, that's he's known for. I mean, he does transform, but he can like hold his own weight type of thing. Lust, I mean, I think for three quarters of the film, I, I enjoyed her performance, but near the end, it just got way too heavy handed. And that was when she interacted with a lot more other characters. And I think there was just a lack of chemistry. And I think that carries over for the entire cast. I mean, granted, maybe Ed and Al has chemistry, but it's just, I don't know, it's just like flat. Everything fell flat. No one had presence except for May Hughes. The Colonel, for some reason, had to have this like dumb wig on. Like when you look back at the comics it's just like his hair is just a little bit longer and it's like you don't need a wig and then anyone that has a wig on has like like it's super obvious that they're wearing a wig and then for some reason for like the fake priest they couldn't get a bald guy to play him like how hard i think yeah the guy that played the fake priest could have pulled off a better general than the guy that we got i mean the guy that we got is a uh, fumio kohinata and I've seen him in TV dramas and movies, and he's a sweet old dude. So for him to have that flip for the role that he's in is just like, why? Like, why? And then plus, it's like when he the review happens, you're like, who is this guy? Why does he matter? So, I don't, I don't know. Like, that was hard to watch. This currently has 20% for critics and 90% for audience. And it makes me wonder, did... The audience watched the same movie that I did because it was pretty bad and I hate to say this like at least bright I cringe less and bright was bad but people flock to it but full metal is just like so bad and it's not gonna get the same numbers as bright and Netflix is probably go like oh should we invest in this I mean why can't they invest in something that's actually good like Rono Kenshin Three movies, still not on Netflix. Come on, like, 
Japanese movie doing samurai era stuff. The vibe there fits a lot better. When you have overacting, it comes off less awkward. I mean, Blade of the Immortal, another manga adaptation, did pretty well for me. I mean, granted, it could be a lot better. It's like a boss fight after boss fight, but at least the world was inhabited. There were actual extras in the background instead of just empty streets. Like, literally, the first sequence was just so dumb. Where the CGI... Oh my god, don't even get me started. They, uh, they spent $8 million on this film. And most of the money probably went to the actors, actresses, what have you. But most of it also went to the CGI and it's bad. Like, there's that epic scene where he transmute his spear... Never uses it again. Doesn't even transmute that arm blade that's so awesome in the manga. And it's just like, why? And then we have Nina who, who like, I don't know. It's just like, cut your losses. If you don't have, like, the CGI production value, then you can hide it. Be in the shadows and just infer things are happening. I think that would have been so much better instead of just having so much CGI. And it was such a bore. Like, even with lust, I mean, her fingers being like spears, that's cool, but like, you don't need it to retract and wiggle around and then like, having like, I don't even know what that's called, but it, it like, every time she retracts it, it wiggles, then it comes back to her fingers. You didn't need to um, do that. That doesn't make any difference. Like, you could have just cut and she could have had her fingers back and that was it. And, um, yeah. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. But that was a hard 2 hours and 14 minutes. Or less. Because I didn't watch all the credits. Granted, they did leave an after credit scene. And, uh... I mean, there could be a sequel. And, and I, 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 I don't want to watch it. They cut out most of the cool stuff. More of the fun stuff. There's hardly real alchemy moves. Transmutations. Like, of alchemy fights. Besides just walls walls and things and that's just too bad because it, it's pretty cool i mean like roy mustang was supposed to be awesome and cool but he just this awkward dude that uh, just hangs around with teenagers and then like gets pissed off when they don't understand him even though he's so much older and i don't know like uh it's just, it's just too bad that it turned out to be like this and i just found out i mean it's good for me that i found out that Full Metal Manga is only 108 chapters. I can totally reread that. Thank you for this movie. Or else I wouldn't have remembered. I thought it was a lot longer, so I wouldn't have bothered. And also, there's 64 episodes of Brotherhood. Seriously, just go watch Brotherhood. And um, I think that's it. I'm going to leave it with that. If you have never seen Full Metal Alchemist, don't bother with this movie. Just watch the 64 episode anime or read the 108 chapters of manga. It's only 27 volumes uh, four chapters per volume, so that's not bad. So anyways, I'm just gonna go watch Runo Kenshin and review that and wash my mouth of this horrid, horrid manga adaptation. That is it. And if you have seen it, I'm sorry I didn't put this review up earlier to save you time and, and just, just, just pain. I'm sorry. Apologize. Apologies. That is it. Later.